uh, welcome back uh, today we have eminent uh, guest for the today's session sri amit satam ji so formally i want to introduce him then i will hand over to him and he will continue his session for around 45 minutes in the last 10 minutes or 15 minutes we will cover the question and answer session so if you have any question please write down questions in a chat uh, then we will cover in the last 10 to 15 minutes okay so amit satam ji is a second time member of legislative assembly from andheri west that's from mumbai and uh, he belongs with the bhartiya janata party he is the pioneer of led street lights concept in mumbai and he has done a hunger strike and lot of agitation regarding that also amit satam ji is also brain child behind india's vertical garden at a public place which has come at andheri and is a replica of one of the shanghai sir has a tremendous experience in the corporate also he has worked very closely with gopinath munde ji today he has his birthday so uh, i am talking about that as well as earlier in 2012 to 17 okay from 2012 to 17 he was bmc's council member also and he is associated with bhartiya janata party at organization level also earlier he was a district president now he is a general secretary for mumbai bjp one of the young and dynamic bjp leader is with us so i don't want to waste more time on that so sir uh, i want to hand over session with you for the next 45 minutes thank you thank you very much thank you mr sane <clears throat> thank you mrs haridas for inviting me uh, for the session here and uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity i have been given to speak on political oratory and uh, political oratory uh, seems to be one of the most important topics for all those who aspire to be in politics or uh, who intend to make political careers or even uh, do some social work and i think that is aisa kehte hai ki नेता बनने के लिए भाषण देना ये सबसे जरूरी होता है अगर आपको अच्छा भाषण देने आता है तो आप एक अच्छा नेता बन सकते हो नेता बनने की सबसे पहली क्वालिटी अच्छा भाषण देना होती है होती है ऐसा कम से कम परसेप्शन तो है जरूरी नहीं है मैं नहीं ये मानता हूं कि सिर्फ भाषण देने से अच्छा नेता होता है अच्छा नेता होने के लिए देर आर सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू हैव दैट यू नीड टू डू but of course political oratory is a very very important quality that any leader should have now how do we define political oratory according to me political oratory is the power to influence the minds of people to shape their opinion to touch their hearts and to make them think and ponder over what you deliver to them ideally there has to be some take away from your speech whenever you deliver that speech and so the power to maybe i would to uh, using the word change your opinion would be too big but at least shape your opinion i think it's the most important objective uh, that a political orator Uh, should set for himself or herself before making any particular speech i think oratory should not only be about come to the stage give a speech or talk and just then just go away from there what is important is you should ideally have a conversation with people there are different styles of political oratory for example the political oratory of atal bihari vajpayee is quite different from the political oratory of bala saheb thakre atal bihari vajpayee used to be a very mellow dramatic speaker with a lot of share shyery body language voice modulations whereas whenever bala saheb thakre used to speak he used to have a conversation with people he used to talk to people so he was not mellow dramatic in his speech but at the same time he used to inspire all those whom he used to speak to if you see the political oratory of narendra modi 
you will see that his oratory is quite different from oratory of atal bihari vajpayee ji and the most important point of mr narendra modi speech is that he also likes to have a conversation with people he asks questions to people people reply to his questions by saying yes ha nahi acha so what happens in that is he involves the audience into his speech so ideally other than have other than saying that political oratory is the power to influence the minds of people political oratory is also according to me conversing with people having a conversation with people and communication with people i am given to understand that in the morning uh, you had a lecture on political communication now political communication is a very very broad topic and uh, you know it involves marketing it involves a lot of research it involves advertising but i think political oratory is also a part of political communication and hence you know when i will go step by step that is according to me what i think best is the way to prepare for any particular speech first before preparing for any particular speech or a conversation or political oratory it is extremely important to identify the type of audience and the type of gathering what is the audience the audience is a common man the audience is a political karyakarta the audience is intellectual the audience is opinion makers or the audience is press or the audience is uh educated person uneducated person so unless and until you identify the type of audience you will not be able to make a successful communication so first is identification of the audience and identification of the type of gathering for example before i prepared myself to speak to you i identified that this is a online certification course who are the contents or who are the uh, participants of this course what the audience will be looking at towards your speech what is it that they try to derive out of their speech unless and until you identify that you will not be able to make a successful political speech so identify the audience is number 1 identify the type of gathering for example a gathering can be a small baithak it can be a meeting of your office bearers it can be a meeting of your karyakartas a smaller meeting 50 people 25 people 100 people or it can be a janasabha a public gathering where people of from from different strata of the society speaking different languages coming from different professions having different occupations come together at one particular place and it's a public gathering it it can a gathering can also be within the house for example if you are a corporator then you will be speaking in the local city council if you are an mla you will be speaking in the legislative assembly if you are an mp you will be speaking in the parliament or if you are a corporate person then you will be either speaking in a board meeting or you will be speaking to your employees or you will be speaking to your co-workers now co-workers can also be your team members they can be workers so the type of communication that you will have with your team member or the qualified staff will be different from the type of communication that you will have with your workers similarly the type of communication that you will have with your padadhikaris or office bearers in a party is different from the communication that you will make in an assembly or a parliament and the fourth type can be speaking to press speaking to press is a completely different ball game altogether because you have to be very specific you cannot make a 45 minute presentation or a 45 minute speech and also the press people are well informed on various subjects and they can ask you various questions in a public meeting or in a public gathering you nobody is going to ask you question you or name will be called you will come to the mic you will make a speech of 25 minutes half an hour 45 minutes one hour you will say jai hind jai maharashtra you will go back nobody is going to ask you question nobody is going to evaluate 
so you identification of the type of gathering is also extremely important before making a particular speech or preparing for a, a particular speech secondly once you identify the audience and you identify the type of gathering you have to determine the length of your speech so length of a speech for example if you are talking to your karyakarta you want to speak for how much time 20 minutes 25 minutes 30 minutes if you want to make a speech in the assembly you in the assembly you are given a specific time slot it may be 5 minutes it may be 10 minutes for senior leaders it is 15 minutes 20 minutes and for leader of the house it may be there is no time limit so you have to identify the length of the speech for how much time you are going to speak because unless and until you identify the length of the speech you will not be able to structure the uh, speech in a proper manner so to structure the speech in a proper manner you need to identify the length of the speech after these three things that is identification of audience identification of uh, type of gathering the length of the speech comes your content of the speech which is extremely important and i would like to advise here that if you want to develop your political oratory if you want to become a good speaker you should also have good knowledge of various topics and hence one has to develop the habit of reading because reading gives you a lot of information when you read more it also gives you different perspectives to the same topic for example if there is a glass a glass is there are half filled with water and half uh, it is empty i can say that it is half full other person can say that it is half empty so it is extremely important to give various different perspectives in your speech and to give different perspectives to the same topic to give it a totally different uh, different uh, i a bird's eye view or a different uh, completely different perspective you need to develop your content and content cannot be developed over one day or two days or three days we need to be well informed about a lot of topics we need to read a lot we need to read biographies of people autobiographies of people and hence reading gives you a totally different 360 degree approach to everything and also helps you to develop your content so once you determine the length of the speech you develop the content of the speech and you actually start your speech it is extremely important to crack the audience in the first 5 minutes of your speech because what you say how you say and what your style of speaking is in the first 5 minutes determines the interest of the audience in your speech for the rest of the speech so if your first 5 minutes are very lousy then no matter you speak like atal bihari vajpayee for the last 15 minutes it is of no use because the audience will not be involved with you or will not be interested in your speech at all and hence to develop that interest to attract people towards you you need to start off with a bang pehle ball pe sixer marte hai jisko kehte hai you need to first ball you need to have a hit a six on the first ball and hence the first 5 minutes of the speech are extremely important extremely crucial to develop the interest of the audience in your speech once you do that what happens is the audience gets connected to you the audience gets curious the audience gets anxious to know more and once the audience also gets involved in your speech you we need to understand that whenever we speak we look at the faces of people we look at the eyes of people and when you look at the faces of people you look at the eyes of people you come to know whether those people are interested in your speech and listening to you attentively or not and if during your speech you realize that people are inquisitive people are curious people are anxious they are looking at you with a lot of interest that in itself takes your speech to another level because that encourages us it gives us the push that is required 
to foster our performance and hence if they are interested in you you will be inspired to perform better in your speech and if they are not interested in you if you see in the audience that people one person is looking here one person is looking there some people are looking at their mobile some people are just dozing off some people are just you know they are lost they are not they are physically in the uh, space but mentally they are not in the space that automatically will discourage you while speaking and even though if you have prepared your speech in a, a proper way you have you have the content you have structured your speech well and uh, you have everything right you said everything right but at that point of time that environment will play on your psyche and you will be discouraged and even though even if you have prepared well the performance will go down during the speech and hence to have this in a proper way it is extremely essential that you crack the audience in the first 5 minutes of your speech it is extremely important once you crack the audience in the first 5 minutes of your speech then you go to the next level so while doing the next level what is important there are two things which are extremely important in political oratory one is voice modulation so if i say i am so and so la, 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 la. if you go at the same voice uh, tone and the same uh, volume then nobody is going to be interested in your speech it is just like reading some prose so the voice modulation has to be there the ups and downs of your voices your tone your breaks like for example in vajpayee ji speech he used to take a lot of breaks he used to just wait for some time those pauses and those pauses became a hallmark of his oratory so we each person needs to develop his or her own style of oratory so voice modulation is extremely extremely important we just cannot speak at the same tone or at the same volume it has to be altered it has to go high it has to come down at times it has to be medium at times and that continuous modulation has to be there because that will create interest in the audience in your speech and also your body language it's like how how you present yourself first before going to speak anywhere we need to see to it that our personal grooming is in a proper way our personal appearance is good otherwise if your hair is not combed properly your shirt button is you know ek button nikal gaya hai or you know something just you know something is there some mark is there on your face so personal appearance is also extremely important voice modulation is important and your body language now body language is something voice modulation and body language put together make a very good speaker like for example when i am speaking to you right now if i just sit like this and political orator is so and so you have to develop content you uh, i will do like i mean it will not create any interest for you in my in whatever i am speaking so you need to have that body language the movement of the hands you know your fingers your the movement of your face and this is something which is not mechanical it has to be developed over a period of time and you know it is not that you can decide ki in this sentence i will do this in that sentence i will do this this sentence i will do this you cannot decide that i mean it, it cannot be mechanical it has to be natural and to be natural how to make your body language natural be be natural feel free if you don't feel free while speaking your speech will never blossom that natural body language will not come out and hence voice modulation body language is extremely important voice modulation can be done by training but body language cannot be you know you cannot train a person that you know when you speak this particular sentence you have to do this when you ask a question you have to do this you cannot train it has to be developed naturally and how to develop it naturally feel free feeling free is the only way to develop a natural body language at the time of political oratory so mentally you have to be very free you cannot be under pressure 
and if you are under pressure it will affect the performance of your speech and hence voice modulation body language and then of course eye contact is extremely important political oratory is not about reading it is not about reading a speech political oratory is about having a conversation with people if you have a conversation with one person do you actually read something in the paper and speak to that person we don't right similarly political oratory is also conversation with many people at the same time and hence you cannot have a speech which is written in pages and pages and pages and you just take the page in your hand and just go on reading 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 if you just read that reading will not have natural voice modulation that reading will not have body language and your eye contact with the audience will also not be there and hence you should not read at the most you can have a paper with points so that you don't miss out on the points but once you know the point you have to develop on those points and hence you cannot read and eye contact with the audience is also extremely important because one is when you have an eye contact with the audience see always communication does not take place uh, with your mouth right communication takes place also in eyes you can speak a lot without saying a single word and hence with the eye contact you will be able to read what is going on in the minds of the audience at that time if it is a small meeting you will definitely come to know whatever points you are putting forward or whatever agenda you are setting whether the people who are listening to you are in line with that agenda are they in agreement with that agenda or there is a question mark in their mind and similarly when you speak to a large audience and if you have a uh, eye contact with the audience i am not saying having an eye contact with each and every member of the audience but just generally if you gauge the audience and if you look at their eyes you will understand whether they are interested in your speech whether they are curious they are inquisitive to know more or they are just disinterested also speaking to the audience while you are having a conversation for example if you have 15 minutes you speak for 15 minutes and if you have an eye contact and if you speak to the audience in those 15 minutes you will realize as to what points in your speech are getting the most interest or most attraction people are interested when you shout people are interested when you do this people get interested or inquisitive uh, when you ask questions and so what you can probably do is those things which interest the audience more can be done more in the latter part of your speech but that sense or that feel you will only get if you have an eye contact with the audience and start learning to read the minds of people with having an eye contact and looking at their eyes also it is extremely important uh, whenever you uh, speak whether be it a small meeting or be it a uh, a large gathering uh, it is extremely important that your speech should have a lot of questions for the audience anecdotes shairies stories examples so that makes a speech juicy your speech does not remain dry you know just by speaking on the agenda and um, just by doing blah 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 the audience is not going to get interested for example you can say main aapko ek kahani batata hu ye kahani hai mahabharat ki so people will be interested now what is that story that this speaker is going to tell and what is the inference that the speaker is trying to get by telling this particular story so that creates a lot of interest it makes your speech very juicy it adds a lot of flesh uh, to your speech so you should also make sure that you should include a lot of anecdotes shairies and all these things stories examples uh your own life examples uh you know in in your speech so that it makes for example when we speak to each other we say na are wo din main wahan par gaya tha fir aisa hua tha fir usne mujhe aisa bola and at that end of the story there is one point that we are trying to drive at but if you tell that point only this one particular point then people will not be interested 
people will not absorb that point but if you try to drive that point through a story or an example or an anecdote or a real life experience then people will be able to absorb the point that you are trying to drive at and political oratory is also about how much percentage of your speech the audience is able to absorb if the audience is not able to absorb your speech then i mean you are a failure similarly as i said eye contact is important inclusion of lot of stories and examples similarly the transition from one point to the other has to be extremely smooth so it should not be like a textbook chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 aisa speech nahi hota hai speech is a flow of ideas and expressions and hence the transition from one point to the other for example if i speak on the development of mumbai city done during the bjp rule from 2014 to 2019 i will talk about a lot of things i will talk about the metro i will talk about the coastal road i will talk about the worli trans harbor link i will talk about the navi mumbai international airport i will talk about the cctv cameras and there are six seven eight different points which i will talk about but the transition from it's not it's not a chapter no number 1 cctv camera blah 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 number 2 metro blah 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 number 3 coastal road blah 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 aisa nahi when i start by speaking about the safety of my city and then how the cctv is were important and then from cctv safety ke baad mein comes communication commuting transportation from one place to the other then i come to the metro then smoothly i go towards the metro and the coastal road and then to the other topic and then overall i talk about the gdp of the uh, city the business in the city and how we are losing business because the international airport in mumbai is cramped and hence the need for the international airport in the city and hence the navi mumbai international airport so basically the transition from one subject to the other one topic to the other has to be extremely smooth ऑडियंस को पता भी नहीं चलना चाहिए कि आप एक विषय से दूसरे दूसरे से तीसरे तीसरे से चौथे और चौथे से पांचवें विषय तक कैसे आप गए ये पता भी नहीं चलना चाहिए इतना वो स्मूथ उसका ट्रांजिशन होना चाहिए सो सो इफ यू हैव फाइव पॉइंट्स टू मेक इन अ स्पीच यू हैव टू एनालाइज एस टू वॉट इज द इंटर कनेक्शन बिटवीन द टू पॉइंट इन द स्पीच एंड ज्वाइन those two points in such a way that it doesn't become a chapter to chapter reading it becomes one thought one idea one expression and hence uh, uh, so transition is important and once you do the uh, transition i think when you finish the speech what is the objective of any political speech or as i said the first point i come to my first point political oratory is all about influencing people shaping people ideas shaping opinions and all those things after your speech the audience should be able to conclude or infer take away from the speech what take away that the audience will get from your speech so you have to analyze as to first what is it that you want to drive at to the audience what is your objective now my objective in this particular communication with you is that at the end of my delivery you should be able to take out 10 points from whatever i spoke to you now 10 points and you will be able to take out 10 points from for example first point will be definition of political oratory second point will be um, identification of audience and gathering third point identify the length of the speech then the content of the speech the start has to be catchy speech has to be structured body language and voice modulation is important then i to i contact has to be so so you will be able to get 10 points at the end of my delivery on political oratory this is exactly what any good political speaker the audience i will just give you one example there used to be a multi billionaire in the united states who who was a multi billionaire i mean he had 
so many companies so many businesses going on at the same time and everything was structured in such a way that everything was in an auto mode so he physically or mentally was not in office even one single day in 365 days so what used to happen is he had one person so he had ceos for different uh, companies who used to were empowered to take decisions and all these ceos used to report to one particular person and one person used to make phone call one phone call so this billionaire who used to stay on some far hama house in distant hills away from the city away from the business away from his companies he used to do fishing he used to do farming he used to go hunting so these were his hobbies he used to enjoy life and one phone call each day from that one person to whom all the ceos used to report to him and the mandate given to that one person was that he will ask only questions to this particular person billionaire and he will answer only in yes or no he will give business decisions in only yes or no so he will pick up the phone he will ask a question whether we should do investment in this particular thing yes no whatever similarly he will ask him five to two, 10 questions in a day he will answer only in yes or no and he will keep the phone so what is the point that i am trying to drive at a big business empire spread across various countries having different businesses of different types and different kinds managed by so many different people the entire business is summarized all the businesses are summarized into 10 questions summarized into 10 questions for which the answer is yes or no that's it similarly similarly when you deliver a 5 minute speech 25 minute speech half an hour speech 1 hour speech or 2 hour speech you should identify what are the 10 takeaways that i want my audience to have after the delivery of my speech is complete if you identify those takeaways first only it will help you better to structure your speech in a proper manner and hence identification of those takeaways is also extremely important and lastly political oratory is not something which can be developed overnight it is not something which can be learned by an half an hour talk from a person like me or some leader or maybe some senior person political oratory is something which is developed over a period of time and developing over a period of time it is you have to improve every speech for example when i used to speak i i used to be able to make very good speeches but i was not able to increase the length of my speech so i used to speak very well for 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes maximum 20 minutes but 20 minute ke upar maine kabhi bhashan diya nahi then you know after so what you need to have content you need to read you need to read you need to get different perspectives to the same topic and hence you know i developed this particular art of giving speeches of more than half an hour also now i can speak for one hour also over a period of time so it is not that it happened in one day two day one year two year it got developed over a period of three to five years and hence political oratory evolves with time you have to give effort to that so effort in terms of developing content reading analyzing your speech every time you speak it is extremely important to self evaluate and self analyze the way you spoke after every speech think about it as to here i could have done better that i could have done better i could have covered this point maybe i could have taken a pause here maybe i could have been a little bit more louder and clearer maybe i could have uh, you know spoken for 5 minutes more so you have to analyze and evaluate your own speech and then try and improve upon the shortcomings in the next speech so it is a you know it is an evolving 
uh, a process which evolves with time so if you are at 2 out of 10 today you cannot get on 8 out of 10 in just maybe 6 months or so you have to give yourself time you have to put in that effort you have to uh, after putting in that effort you have to self evaluate self analyze develop on your shortcomings in the next speech and that's how you will be able to develop yourself as a political orator and also it is extremely important to look or listen <coughs> to different styles of political oratory for example the style of वाजपेयी स्टाइल ऑफ प्रमोद महाजन अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी नरेंद्र मोदी बाला साहेब ठाकरे एंड फॉर दैट मैटर इंटरनेशनली बराक ओबामा इफ यू इफ यू सी सम ऑफ बराक ओबामा स्पीचेस ड्यूरिंग हिज प्रेसिडेंशियल कैंपेन इन आई थिंक 2008 और सो या 2008 एंड देन 2012 2012 या देन 2012 इफ यू इफ यू सी इट इज यू नो दोस स्पीचेस दे आर सो इंस्पायरिंग so inspiring we the people of america i mean the way he says we the people of america with his arms out and you know the the, the emotion in his voice so you know you can also develop on these uh, styles so you need to uh, listen and look at different oratorship styles different orators of different types you know them there are some people who are very soft for example you should also look at some of pula deshpande's uh, deliveries so which is a lot of humor you know if you can add humor to your speech so looking at different political orators also will help you shape up your political oratory you know you there will be different things that you will learn from different speakers and there is no uh, state called as a perfect state or the best you know there is always room for improvement there is always scope for for improvement and the more you look at people the more you listen to people the more you try to inculcate their styles into you will further uh, improve your uh, oratory uh, skills that's what i feel uh, so i think uh, that's uh, that's all that's all about it i think i will throw this uh, uh, session open for questions Uh, you know i have covered uh, all the points that i uh, wanted to cover and i'm sure that uh, you will be able to make points at the end so to you know so that uh, this particular oratory that i delivered now is successful i'm sure that you will be able to uh, uh, there will be some take aways in the form of points at the end of my uh, delivery uh, so i tried my best to uh, sum up Uh, and uh, you know to bring to you in a crux various points that you can inculcate to develop your political oratory it is all about uh, it takes time it is an evolving process and uh, uh, so i would like to throw this forum open for questions if there are any specific questions or any interaction you know it is all about you know having in political oratory in a session like this it cannot be a one way traffic it has to be a two way traffic and so i will throw this forum open for uh interactions and uh, question for the next 10 or 15 minutes yes sir thank you thank you very much i think you have covered almost 360 degrees in the political oratory so i uh, i have coming question from shubhay shubhendu bhuta so please unmute yourself and ask question directly to amit sir shubhendu namaskar ah. namaskar amit namaskar shubhendu bhuta i am uh -huh. a member from your constituency itself sir and That's i have been a huge fan of yours since all these years uh, sir i had two questions one is how important is the role of humor in the speeches that we give uh, many times sir i have seen uh, raj thakre sir speeches he mixes them with humor as well as very uh, ups and downs and everything sir how important is the role of humor and how much should it be second question oh, well yes of course humor is extremely important but uh, you know humor is why i didn't include humor is that you know humor is not something which uh, uh, which can be you know you can train a person on humor or something humor is something which is which also comes very naturally okay correct sir so maybe humor is also about timing you right, also about the various pauses that you take while giving that story 
so to develop humor is a little bit difficult for example i may tell the same story people may not laugh but you may tell the same story and people can laugh Thanks. people may laugh so laughing is also about your pauses your delivery the way you uh, describe the story and a lot of other things so yes humor according to me is important it helps in attracting the audience it helps in keeping the interest of the audience in your speech but also it is not something which can be artificially developed it is something which comes naturally so if it comes naturally to you and you can give it a try during your speech ek had do aisi kahaniyan bata do logo ko hasne wali agar log haste hai to aapke paas wo hunar hai to you can uh, design your speech on humor but if if not then you should avoid humor right sir sir i have one more small follow up question is that uh, sir uh, many times during the election times during the campaigning times uh, there are a lot of sensitive topics and the environment is very heated up in yeah. our speeches mainly when uh, we are talking to a larger audience or a mass audience in a jan sabha environment how articulately should we uh, uh, hint upon all these sensitive topics because uh, people might sway their vote in that scenario oh, see well sensitive topics yes it is extremely important that while speaking on sensitive topics you are well guarded you know what you speak you have your head on your shoulders and there is a connect between this and this if the connect between this and this is lost then you will end up in a very very bad situation and end up in a soup and also create a big problem for your political party or the organization that you represent so you have to be extremely guarded while dealing with uh, sensitive topics and the most important point to watch out for is there has to be a connect between your mind and, and your mouth if that connect is lost then you can you know you can probably jack up the entire campaign thank you okay. very much sir. thank you sir thank you uh, prachi dudhane ji has another question so please continue prachi ji oh uh, yes hello sir uh, actually i am a speaker and also a writer uh, i am in social and political field since past 13 years uh, but whenever i speak uh, people see more of solitude in my uh, speech so is it good or is it bad i didn't understand exactly uh when i speak uh, people see much of uh, uh, my speech as a solitude means a tarmal ji apan mhanto to that is more in my speech so is it good or is it bad no no every speaker has a has his own or her hallmark so maybe people seek solitude in your speech is your hallmark so there is nothing good or bad about it it's a quality it's a it's a it's a feature of your political oratory or your oratory so there's nothing bad about it if people like if people look at something look forward to something in your speech then it is good okay okay thank you uh, sir another question is coming that uh, political oratory hum जिस लीडर जो पॉपुलर होता है उसके लिए भीड़ तो आती है लेकिन काफी बार ऐसा हमने देखा है कि वो वोट्स में कन्वर्ट नहीं होते तो पॉलिटिकल ओरेटरी अच्छी होने का मतलब ये नहीं मतलब होने से हम जीतने की संभावना बढ़ती है लेकिन ये फाइनल नहीं है तो आप उसके बारे में कुछ बात करना चाहेंगे नहीं इलेक्शन जीतना ये खाली पोलिटिकल ओरेटरी के ऊपर डिपेंड नहीं करता है इलेक्शन जीतने के लिए बहुत सारे दूसरे फैक्टर्स भी डिपेंड करते हैं कि उस समय का पॉलिटिकल एनवायरनमेंट क्या है उस समय की हवा क्या है उस समय की सरकार की परफॉर्मेंस क्या है लोग सरकार के परफॉर्मेंस से खुश है या ना खुश है उम्मीदवार कैसा है उम्मीदवार के बारे में लोगों में किस प्रकार की फीलिंग है और तुम्हारा बूथ मैनेजमेंट कितना स्ट्रांग है ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल मैनेजमेंट कितना स्ट्रांग है ये बहुत सारे तुम्हारा कैंपेन कितना अच्छा है तुम्हारी मार्केटिंग कितनी अच्छी है बहुत सारे फैक्टर्स के ऊपर इलेक्शन की जीत या हार जो है वो डिपेंड करती है सिर्फ भाषण पे डिपेंड नहीं करती है और इसीलिए भाषण जो है वो पॉलिटिकल एनवायरनमेंट को स्वे करने का काम करता है पुश देने का काम करता है लेकिन सिर्फ भाषण के बलबूते पर चुनाव नहीं जीते जा सकते राइट बिल्कुल सर uh still we have 2 minutes any question 
sir i have raised my question in the chat box okay uh, you can start, i mean yeah you can ask you can ask ha, you can unmute yourself and start asking sir my question is uh, is it uh, is it appreciable or is it suggested that we make criticisms and negative points as well in our speech or should the speech should always be a positive one and sugar coated no no you can make criticisms and negative points also in a very uh, well mannered uh, way and a constitutional way so of course criticisms have to be there negative points of the other person or the other party has to be there so there is nothing wrong about it nothing wrong about criticizing anybody but we have to make sure that the criticism does not get personal and below the belt thank you sir what i mean to say that connect between your mind and your mouth has to be there if that connect is not lost then uh, and your head is there proper on your shoulders then i think you will not make any uh, uh, unwanted remarks in your speech thank okay, you thank sir. you thank you amit ji uh, on behalf of mit world peace university mit school of government and rahul karad sir we sincerely thank you because uh, he had some meetings from the 3 pm but still he has given us one hour and uh, thank you very much surely i will send you the record of your session and in the up, yeah in the upcoming days when the unlock will be more uh, in the we want you into our college also when we will start our look action. forward to that I yes, look sir. forward to that thank you so much yes sir thank you all and all the best to you best wishes to you i hope that i have been able to add something at least to your requirements of political oratory yes sir because in the chat box we are receiving lot of appreciation comments from all the participants so thank you thank you very much thank you so much thank you